All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to take a shape and we're going to scale it in or scale it out. And as that shape animates, uh, it will change its actual shape. For example, over here, we have a circle. If I tap the circle, it animates into a square with rounded corners. And we can have different variations of this. I'm going to show that to you as well. Um, also over here at the website, uh, 3D animations, I'm still waiting on a, maybe we can get some uh, updates on 3D animations, maybe a skew option in KOWP. Weather animations, I have, I do have somebody uh, working on some graphics for me. I'm not in any super hurry there. I got plenty to keep me busy between KOWP and the math tutorials. And eventually I will get to these beginner series. Uh, but what I have found is that a lot of folks who have made the request for the beginner series, they've been watching some of my other videos and they've been able to, uh, you know, learn and pick up on a lot of things there as well. I still plan on doing it, but um, you know, bear with me. We got plenty of stuff to look at. So in KOWP, let's go ahead and have a look at this. Uh, again, we're going to look at scaling this thing. And let's just start with a blank preset. All right, so starting from scratch, the only thing we really need here is one global, and that's going to be a button. Now, we could definitely add list globals to create different shapes on the fly, but I'm not going to do that here. So I'm going to call this an on off switch, and I'm going to call it go. And then back in items, let's add two things. Let's add two shapes. And you want to put the you want to put uh, the shapes in root because you're animating them. Uh, and this first one, let me call it a name. Let me call it the clip because this is going to be the actual clip that we're going to be using. And for now, we'll start with a. Let's just do a square. Let's kind of reverse what I did a moment ago, or not. Let's do a circle here. So a circle, and I'm going to position that circle in the center of the screen. And for now, I'm going to leave that circle there. And uh, we're going to apply a clip to this in a moment. But now let's create a uh, square. And the square is going to be the shape that actually animates and transitions into a circle. Again, we can uh, change this. So I'm just going to leave that as shape because this is going to be the actual shape that will change. And let's do this. Uh, we have a square. We'll make it a little bit bigger. And let's apply some color to it. And let's position this in the center as well. All right, so what we want to do with this square, when we tap this square, when we tap the square, so let's go ahead and apply a touch. Now, you don't have to apply the touch directly to the shape. You can create you a button somewhere on your dock or what have you, but I'm just going to do it here. I'm going to touch that square. So when I touch this square, I want to toggle the global switch go. And also, I want to animate this thing. So for the animation for this red square that we have, I'm going to go to plus, and we're going to react on a global switch. Global switch go. And let's scale this in. So action will be scale in. We can apply complex animations, but this is just going to be a basic overview of how we can get this thing to transform. Now, let's preview this for right now. And notice this square, <laughs> it's uh, scaling in quite a bit. We don't want to use that much. And that's why I'm leaving that circle there. So let me uh, back this down to about, let's just back it down to like 10 and see what happens. If I do 10, I want it to scale more than that because I want it to fill up this whole shape. So let's just bump this up to about 20 and see what happens there. We want to make sure we're going to, you know, fill in this whole circle in the background. All right, see how we still got a little bit on the edges here? So how about 25? And the reason why you want to mess around with this, because if you make it get too big, it will take it a little bit longer to animate back. All right, and you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, that fills in the whole thing. I'm going to just bump it up to 30 for safekeeping. And I also want to make it happen faster. So I'm going to do half a second. And if we do this, that will fill up the whole square. And what we have going on now, if I save this and go back to the home screen, this is not going to do what you want it to do yet. So we have a square and it stays a square. But what we want it to do is when this square animates out, we want this circle to clip. Clip it. Clipping means that it's going to uh, block all of the square that you see out here, down here, over here, and over here. Well, here's how we do that. Let's go back into KOWP. And notice the order that I have these shapes. Okay, I have the clip in this little uh, line of stuff. I have the clip above the shape, which is putting the clip behind this square here. All right, so the clip is this circle. So I'm going to go to that clip. I'm going to go to FX, go to Mask, and we want to clip the next module and basically think of it like this. So I have this uh, that circle. Notice it disappeared, right, because it's set as a clip now. 
the color, all that stuff will not apply to it. Now, if you want to go back and see that circle or whatever shape you have, go back and set that uh, FX to none. There's that circle, but when you set it to clip next module, it disappears, but here's where it comes in and is helpful. I'm so glad this happened because you may say, man, this is off-centered. That's the advanced editor. Yours might not even do that, but mine does. But nonetheless, if we go back, save this, go back to the home screen, it's going to be centered, as you can see. So here's our square, and now that circle's clipping it, so we don't see the outside pieces. We don't see the corners of that square. And notice, you know, I'm click, it's instant, click. There's a little bit of a delay there, and that's because that square is relatively big. If you made that square, you know, the size of your screen when it scales in, it would take a while for it to come back to this normal size here. So you can adjust your speed, and you can also adjust uh, the, what was it, what's that thing, uh, the, the amount of scale that you have there. And again, that is going to be back at this shape. Uh, going over to its animation, the actual square, that scale in. Remember how I was uh, tinkering with this amount? That's what I was talking about, the amount. So if you again, if you bump it way up to 100, uh, if we save this and go back to the home screen, you know, I'm um, click, and it takes a second for it to come back because, it, you know, that square is this freaking big. But now if I see how it instantly changes? So what I recommend doing there, again, is adjusting that amount so that, it's just a little bit bigger than the actual clip that you're applying. So that right there, click. Oh, now click. It looks off-centered. Click again, and we see it going back. So that's a little bit better in my opinion. And plus, you kind of want to make these, depending on what you're doing, make them fast, make them slow. So click, click, and notice it's working pretty instantaneously. Now, some other things that we can do here. If we just go back to the clip shape, and if we change th this shape to, say, a rectangle, now you'll have to adjust. You can see the little red bar. Um, so if we do something like that, now we see the square inside of it. And you may not also notice now that that clip is squeezing that red square because it's clipping that shape. But now we see the square and the rectangles here. So when we scale this, it's going to create a rectangle now. That's a whole different effect, in my opinion. I'm going to apply a little bit of corners to this thing. And now it may look off centered, no big deal. Let's save that. Let's go back to the home screen. And now notice your square is transforming into a rectangle with some curved corners. So, you know, this is good for giving that material style animation, uh, making it look smooth transitions and adding all that stuff when you have menus or whatever popping up inside your custom live wallpaper. And again, uh, just to kind of round things out, we could go back to the shape piece not the clip, I'm gonna to go to my shape, the actual square that we're animating here, right? I'm gonna change that to a uh, whatever you want. I mean, let's do a hexagon and I'm gonna leave it at size 100. So let's save that, go back to the home screen. Now we have a hexagon, but remember, I did not change my clip. My clip's still gonna be that rounded rectangle. So now you see the hexagon is transforming into that rounded rectangle. I hope you see the endless possibilities here in terms of, uh, clipping your shapes, using different shapes. And, um, you know, anytime you want to go back and preview what that clip actually looks like, the size of that clip, remember you can always go back to that clip shape, go over to FX and set this thing to none. And that's going to be the region that's going to clip whatever shape you're animating. Again, tweak your uh, the amount of scale that you're using. That way you can, uh, you know, get the right effect that you want. And there you have it. That's uh, taking a shape using clip animations and having it animate into a different shape. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.